Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. If you're a Laravel developer, you probably have heard of a well-known company called Spati from Belgium. And you probably know a person who speaks at a lot of Laravel conference, which is Freak, again from Spati. But did you know that on both of those websites, Spati BE and Freak.dev, they use Filament? So if we go to composer JSON of Spati.be, it's open source on GitHub, we have filament here. Same for frag.dev, also open source on GitHub, and we have filament here. So I've looked around those repositories and tried to find interesting filament features that both repositories use. Unfortunately, I cannot really launch it locally because they use some premium packages. And of course, even if I did, I don't have the data from those websites. It's just the code. So we will look at GitHub and see what we find in terms of filament in those repositories. Let's start with Freck's personal website, which is much smaller project than SpottyBE, but still has a lot of interesting features. And I will show you one of them, which is header actions, similar logic to edit post page, so post resource and similarly link resource. So for example, in the link resource, we have actions by default, delete the link, but also if the link status is submitted, then we array merge additionally two actions, approve and create post and just approve without creating the post. Or actually, if we scroll down, it's three actions, reject as well. And interestingly, the word action here is such an interesting kind of inception. So we are in the actions of edit page in filament, where we define custom actions that use Laravel action classes. So this one, approve link action is a class in PHP Laravel class. Let's take a look. So if we click inside here, class approve link action, execute similar to a Laravel job and sending the email and updating the link. So did you know that filament similar to Laravel controllers auto resolves the classes if you type hint them here in the action. So you don't need to define the object of approve link action, you just type hint it here. And in the edit post, similar get header actions with custom actions for preview and for schedule the post in addition to delete action, which was by default. Also an interesting part, record admin preview URL. What is that? We can find that function in the model of post admin preview URL. So if the post is published, it's just URL, probably database field, but otherwise it's preview URL, which is an attribute generating the post URL with random slug preview secret for kind of security measures or maybe for one time preview, which is just for that timestamp. So yeah, that was the thing I wanted to show you about Frag Dev repository. Now we go to SpyTB, which is a much bigger website. And I wanted to show you custom columns in the table. Again, unfortunately, I cannot show it to you visually, but we can dive into the code. So for example, resource link column in the table is a text column, but specifically with URL, with the color and in bold. And then if we try to search for that resource link column in full project, it is used in the resource of release resource, also in another custom column like license purchasable name column, also in another resource. And here's another resource and some more resources. So this is an example that you can create custom column with your own styles and behavior kind of separated and then reuse them instead of typical text column or whatever other default filament columns. A similar thing to offload the behavior to somewhere else is action classes. And in this case, we're talking about filament actions, not Laravel action classes. So in some of the resources, we have actions subfolder, for example, transfer purchase action. And since it has quite a complex logic, like action transfer, whatever that means, it is separated to its own action class. And then it is used, for example, again, if we search for that symbol, it is used in the purchase resource only once. So the purpose here is not reusability, but offloading the part of the code from purchase resource to have the action somewhere else. So purchase resource stays more clean and short like this. Another example, update bundle price for currency action. Again, quite complex logic with quite a lot of code. And if we search for that symbol elsewhere in the project, 
we see that used in another resource. So here's how you define the action and separate it into its own class. And final thing I wanted to show you is how you can use raw queries because it is used quite often in the widgets of their dashboard. For example, get data purchasable product ID, we have DB raw as aggregate, one example. Another example, payment method widget, select DB raw, DB raw, and this is more complex, JSON unquote, JSON extract, because paddle for payment method returns the data in the JSON, the webhook by third party paddle provider. So you need to write raw query to extract that JSON. Another example of widget with raw query purchases per product per day. So select three DB rows and also group by raw at the bottom. So the main message here, what I wanted to show you is don't be afraid to experiment with eloquent queries, DB query builder, and also raw queries and raw conditions in your widgets of filament. So these are the things I wanted to show. I want to emphasize from those Spotty repositories. And when I actually tweeted about it with those examples on my Twitter, Spotty themselves commented that they use Filament in our paid projects, in their paid projects for clients. So it's not just those two repositories, they adopted Filament pretty widely. Great news for Filament as a tool, kind of a stamp of approval of ecosystem leaders of Laravel. I will put the links to both of those repositories in the description below and you can dive deeper and find more examples. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.